Another thing that can happen is, and this kept me single for decades, this thing that I think is the single greatest saboteur of healthy new love, and it's what I call the wave of distancing. And it's where someone's available and they're not going anywhere and there's not drama and you like don't have to prove yourself and they're they're there there is no drama in the fact that they like you and they're there and they lose market value in your head and in your heart dramatically because of that because it's not what you're used to so this is a whole other subject and I'm, I'm I'm covering so many pieces in this episode, but the short form about what to do about that when that happens. And if you're someone who has historically been drawn to unavailable people, you almost definitely will experience the wave. And in, in my deeper work, in my intensive, in my book, in my course, in my upcoming course, which is called uh, Finding Your Beloved. I kind of teach this in more detail, but the short form is don't flee and don't pressure yourself because if you flee, you'll never find out. It's a bumpy period you're going to go through. It's some hard white water because you don't want to get yourself enmeshed in a relationship that you're not going to be interested in. You don't want to hurt the other person, but you don't know because all of a sudden your feelings have gone away. So don't flee. But don't suffocate yourself or force yourself to do intimate things that you're not ready for. Give it some air. Give it some space because it's a spasm of fear and it will unknot itself, really. And when it does, your attraction almost definitely will come back and with it a better sense of if that person is right for you or not.